Hello, this is Gene Thorpe, Little Red Rooster TV, and today we're going to do a very interesting thing. We've got an old Craftsman guitar, and uh, I did a review on this a, a cut, but maybe a year and a half ago, and I'm not sure of the age of the guitar, and I did explain that we got it out of an old house that was a, a piece of abandoned furniture in an old house. And uh, had a warped neck, we fixed that, we put some tuners on it, but it's actually a pretty good guitar. And because a fellow pointed out that it had brass frets, he thought it was probably from about 1945, 47, but I think it came from the 50s or early 60s. But what I wanted to do is kind of a comparison of beginner guitars back in those days as opposed to beginner guitars of today. Um, and just give a review. So basically what happened in those days where guitars were made very inexpensively, probably more in wood shops or cabinet making shops and that type of thing. And the necks the, were pretty flat. The fretboards were flat and very basic. And so you could learn how to play them. You could play any of the good chords on these guitars. But I'm gonna have to admit that these guitars are a lot harder to play than modern guitars. And I did a um, economic kind of comparison of what $15, which is approximately what these guitars would go for back in the late 40s and early 50s. And $15 today would be worth about $160. So if you took $160 today, my favorite little guitar that would be a relative beginner's guitar that I've seen is the Ibanez. So this little Ibanez parlor guitar right here has got all of the features of modern guitars. A beautiful neck with rounded frets. I don't know if you can see that the, fret, the frets on the neck are actually curved. And this guitar has electronics in it and just beautiful action. And uh, so my theory on these, and, and real nice tuning keys, is that beginner guitars today are much better than they were in the earlier years. And this particular guitar right here with the electronics that it has on it and everything could be used professionally. And I just think they're an incredible guitar. So if you take a, an older collectible guitar like the old Craftsman or the Ibanez uh, today, I would say that nowadays you get a lot more bang for your buck. So this is Gene Thorpe, Little Red Rooster TV, signing out. Thank you.